10th Indian state passes authoritarian anti-conversion bill. On December 23rd, the Karnataka Protection of Right to Freedom of Religion Bill 2021 was successfully passed, making Karnataka the 10th Indian state to pass such an anti-conversion bill. The bill states, quote, no person shall convert or attempt to convert either directly or otherwise any other person from one religion to another by use of misrepresentation, force, undue influence, coercion, allurement, or by any fraudulent means or by marriage, nor shall any person abet or conspire for conversions. The bill, the bill mandates that anyone who wishes to convert to another faith must declare their intention to a district magistrate at least 30 days in advance. It also states that any marriage for the sole purpose of unlawful conversion shall be declared null and void by the family court. The bill proposes imprisonment of three to five years with the penalty of um, 25,000 rupees. The penalty for violation of provisions protecting minors, women, or lower caste individuals is three to 10 years in prison and a fine of at least 50,000 rupees. What the fuck is happening to in Indonesia? Like, unbelievable. Um, yeah. What's crazy? Worse, it, it, it used to be just the Acha province. Now it's everywhere. Ten you mean, you mean Uttar Pradesh? Acha is in oh, yeah, sorry. Indonesia. Sorry, sorry. I keep... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, no. I was talking about... It used to, it used to be Uttar, Uttar Pradesh, but now it's like ever, spreading everywhere. I said yes. Indonesia as well as well. I was, uh, was confused. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This looked like, yeah, I was happy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I confused my countries. Uh, Aceh to Indonesia is what's Uttar Pradesh to India. But yeah, go on. Yeah. In a lot of ways, yeah. Um, I mean, this is like so crazy on so many different levels. First of all, the fact that you have to declare to a district magistrate a month in advance of your conversion is insane to me. Why do you have to declare to the authorities that you plan to convert a month in advance? Why? Wait, I seriously thought that this was about Indonesia. This is actually even more crazy that I realized it's about India. Like this is even more unbelievable. You have to, you have to register with like, how is, this is a secular country. You have to actually take get permission from the state to convert, to change yes. your religion? you have to give them advanced like, notice or you could be subject to prosecution. I, I can't, like... Possible you know imprisonment. Time... Guys, like, this is... Is this... Has this passed? Like, is this a... Th is, like, is this a suggestion or is... Oh, no, it's, it was successfully passed. It says it was successfully passed. Guys, and, like, I keep saying, like, <laughs> India is still like a secular a nation. Ago. Okay, but, like, this is, like, far beyond, like, what I thought it was even possible in India. Like, this is, like, I keep, like, you know how I keep defending India and keep saying, like, you know, India is still a secular state? Like, it's not. Like, you, in, in 10 states, is that what you said? Do you have to ask permission from the fucking government to be able to change, to change your religion? So I know that there are 10 states that have, at now 10, that have at some form of anti-conversion bill. I do not know the details of every state's version of this kind of a bill, but I do know okay. in uh, Karnataka, they do have these provisions that do mandate the advance notice to a district ma magistrate that allows for the district magistrate to investigate the real reason for these conversions. Ones that are How, not reported are subject to police investigation. The police comes and investigates whether your changing of religion was, leg was legal. And then you mentioned like that you cannot. Okay, so here's the thing person for, um so what is what's becoming illegal is to attempt to p change people's religion by mis misrepresentation force okay force i accept 
undue influence. I don't know what the fuck that means. Coercion. That, that's the same as force. I don't know why you're repeating undue that. Undue influence, coercion. These are similar. They're equivalent. But this one is not. Like, this is the worst one. Allurement. Like, how could you, like, that would be in every advertisement of religion would be an allurement. Like, how are you? Potentially. Wait, so how how are you supposed to advertise your ideology without alluring people? <laughs> exactly. But and this has been a particular that, like, problem because in the last at least three weeks, we have been repeatedly talking about anti-Christian violence in India, a lot of it in Karnataka, because it was preceding this bill being discussed in the assembly, and then it was subsequently passed. A lot of the violence that was happening against Christians in um Karnataka was accusations of forced conversions and allurement. But when you read the actual descriptions, it was like, oh, there was a Bible placed in a storeroom. Like literally exposure to another faith is being characterized as a forced conversion. Every Anyone, single people giving out anywhere. Christmas cards, Armin. Yeah. That would be allurement. Yeah, they started torching. They set their Christmas cards on fire because they said it was like the as I'm playing would be allurement. I, it could be considered that. And look at the way that the bill cross, is phrased. It says every single cross on a church could be allurement. But you know so what? So like what? This is Sharia. This is Hindu version of Sharia. This is exactly like how other religions under like Islamic land, they're not supposed to have any symbols out any any advertisement like this is this is hindu sharia but go on but here's here's the kicker armin here is the kicker guess what happens if say you but there's a specific provision in this bill that if you convert to a religion and then you return to your original religion none of these provisions apply wow so conversion to hinduism is allowed you could do all of these yes things. With none yeah. of because look how similar to the Islamic version of this has become, right? Because a lot of Muslims will say you don't convert to Islam, you revert to Islam because we're all born Muslim, right? So similarly, <laughs> these these people, okay, uh, are saying that Pakistanis and Bangladeshis and Indians. Everybody from the Indian subcontinent around that area, they are inherently Hindu. So if you go from Indian, if you go from Hindu to Christian um, or Hindu to Muslim, all of these laws apply because it's a conversion and you're alluring people to Christianity. But if you go from Christianity to Hinduism or from Islam to Hinduism, that's not actually conversion <laughs> you know what they call that's it basically you're just coming home yeah what do you they, call it you're coming home garwapsi yes. you're coming home yes exactly unbelievable unbelievable this is fascism this is this is so this is a theocracy now and this is legit you know a theocracy this bill is titled this bill is titled the protection of the right to freedom of religion bill Wow. But yet you have to report to a district magistrate that you want to change your religions. And they it's subject to investigation, subject to prosecution if they find anything sketchy. And this bill is phrased so vaguely and the attitudes are so incensed that the slightest thing could be perceived as forced conversion. Not to mention the fact that if you come from a lower caste or set scheduled castes and tribes or um, OBCs, what does that stand for? Like backwards castes. If you come from any, any class of people that is subject to in Indian society reservations, which is for people who don't know, it's kind of a form of affirmative action. Um, but that's, not the it's it's very broad but insanely simplified version and kind of incorrect version is i'm just going to say it's affirmative action um if you come from one of these communities and you normally are provided with reservations from the government but you convert 
this bill says that they are going to have to re-examine whether or not you are still going to be entitled to those reservations. So if wow. you try to convert to a religion that does not technically have casteism, for example, they are going to rip away any accommodations you could have received from being in born into a highly oppressed group of people. Mm. And I right, say theoretically to, because a... Christi Christianity and in, 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 in India, Islam in India, Sikhism in India, they all actually still have casteism, but theoretically they don't. We do need to get to the start uh, comments because we have a lot of them about this news article. So, um, um, you... Yeah, so Rudresh is saying, wait, what? Um, Tejaswi Surya, who's BJP politician, talked about converting people to Hinduism. Yes, no, this this received huge news. He's a very high BJP leader, for those who don't know. And he was talking boldly and openly about Garwapsi, about getting people to return to home, meaning Hinduism. Nobara is saying, remember, this rule only applies to Hindus converting to another religion, not the other way around. Exactly. Yeah. And... Um, Nobara is saying lower caste should continue to clean toilets. How dare they attempt to Ew. escape caste violence? Uh, oh, no, they're being okay. sarcastic. They're being sarcastic. Okay, yeah. No, no, but I think theoretically, that's what people think. Like, not Hinduism, non Hinduism, whatever. You know, um, other religions in India are alike, theoretically, but in practice, there is still a lot of casteism. Um, yeah, let's go through the comments fast because there's too sorry. many of them. Atheist on YouTube is saying a Shia Muslim Wasim Rizzi converted a few weeks back making anti-Muslim speeches Hindufa celebrated, but not the other way around. Yes, he was he, he, he was a Shia cleric. He converted to Hinduism. And within the span of three weeks, he was at those hate speech conferences that we were talking about last week. Wow. <laughs> he was a Shia was like, cleric who was advocating for verses to be taken from the Quran because they were too violent. Eventually, in that of like was a huge controversy. He eventually converted uh, to Hinduism, and then within three weeks, he was openly inciting violence against Muslims. Muslims, amazing. Okay. I was like, who, the, who is this guy? Um, <laughs> Neptune is saying, I really want lower caste people to convert to other religions, especially Christianity. They are very poor. They can't become atheists suddenly. You know, I, well, you honestly, responded. like, I, okay. So honestly, like if you're converting to Christianity because it increases your access, this is like, 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 I'm not going to blame you for that. Obviously this is not about like what you believe and what you don't believe. This is about making your life less miserable and providing you some protection. Okay. So I will always speak against Christianity, but this is something different from Christianity. This is about not about like, oh, me telling you whether or not Jesus was real or not. This is about like, you know what? I am my life is fucking miserable. I need access to a community and this does that for me. Okay. So I will I I would not I would not blame anybody for trying to do that, especially if like conditions lower caste people have to live within in, in, in India. All right. That's just being practical. It's not about like having a philosophical discussion about whether or not God is real or Jesus is real. Right. So that's different. Um, um Saying no, Neptune I don't is think... saying Hindus are scared that they can't proselytize, so they made a law. Yeah, but don't say Hindus. Like, let's not generally collect, like collectively speak about all Hindus. Even even if you don't mean it like that, it's better if you don't speak like that. Katie is saying. Yeah. Meanwhile, they still keep talking about quote bringing Indians back to Hinduism. Yep. Yeah, we mentioned that. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to highlight this one because I wanted people to see uh, Hindu for Susanna. Read this. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to drag me into this? <laughs> okay. No. Dude for Susanna so is insane. Good job, Karnataka. Yeah, so no, I wanna I wanna actually agree with him, Dutra Susanna, because I wanna say like good job in helping us show how big of a problem this is. Like like you look like even they it's I mean I mean not a good job for destroying India, but like look what they're doing. Like like it's really hard to continue saying saying that in, in India is still secular. Like, look what they're doing. And look how popular this is. Like, in our own live chat, we have Hindutva supporters who are celebrating this. Like, this this, this is, a, like, for people to feel like, oh, no, this is just a fringe group of people. Not that many people support this. These are, these are popular. These are fascistic moves 
that are extremely popular in India. Like it's so widespread that even it leaks into even our, our own live chat. And I'm glad that Hindutva Susanna is here to show you guys how popular fascism has become in India. Um, Nobara is saying India has now become like Malaysia, where it's easy to become Muslim but not leave Islam. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, point. Rudresh is saying, I think conversion to Christianity means you lose um, s s scheduled caste and scheduled tribe reservation benefits or something. I may be wrong. You're correct. Do you lose mm -hmm. any benefits you receive from your scheduled caste or tribe, but you are supposed to be entitled to any reservations you would get for your new faith. But the, it's so weird. That's so weird to me because you still are coming from that background anyways. I don't know. Katie is saying there are certain groups who believe that people outside the subcontinent were also Hindus. They believe Hinduism existed globally before other religions took over. Yes, I've seen their weird conspiracy maps of like it take like how far Hinduism really got. And I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, this is I had to highlight this because it's kind of ridiculous. Nobara is saying, I told you about this earlier, but you ignored me. You ignored my comment delib deliberately. Well, excuse me, your majesty, for not highlighting every single one of your comments. I'm sure me and Susanna had a very specific um, conspiracy for why hiding your very, I don't know what were you saying that we didn't highlight. But yeah, we had this very, we had come up with this plan that we're trying to hide the very specific information whatever that was and we intentionally for something we're doing for you it. for free <laughs> like, and also you're referring to something that apparently we did eventually say so no but we were suppressing your the information that you were trying to highlight on purpose but we said that anyways eventually so i don't know what you're trying to suggest here but okay Anyways, here's a better comment. <laughs> Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Nobara is saying, I agree with you on this fact, Armin. If it provides them with a the community, why not? But I prefer that they break away from Hinduism by retrieving their pre-Hindu traditions. No, don't... Re I hate this. Reject modernity. I mean, in this case, it'd be reject Hinduism, return to tradition. Like, no. reject all of it. Just live in reality. <laughs> Yeah, what what you can keep your traditions. traditions as long as they don't hurt how about people. we graduate to the modern world? How about that? How about we move forward instead of going backwards? Right? So there's that. Um <laughs> anyways. Um what's okay, interesting, cool. something that we can't talk yes. about for too long, but is that this in um Karnataka, this bill was being protested by Congress. But I was reading about how earlier a version of this bill or a version of this concept of anti-conversion was actually first introduced in Karnataka by Congress. So I was reading these articles of all these politicians going back and forth about their own hypocrisy. Yeah, I guys, just feel like not, we should say not, that for like a full picture. Guys, we, we can set our expectations according to what people's... Um, lived experiences and lives, but also promote for things that push people forward, right? Like when we say we're pushing for modernity and people are like, but they can't do this because their lives are like this. Yes, we don't expect people to be able to do certain things. We're not going to be like, just because we advocate for something, that doesn't mean that we're going to be like expecting everybody to be able to do that, right? But I think like people's, we still have to advocate for things that is going to push a society forward with the realization that not everybody is going to be able to move along that fast, right? So setting our expectations um, in a practical way does not mean that we should promote something that pushed society backwards. Like we're like, oh, that will push society backwards. This will push society forwards. And people are telling us, well, not everybody could move that fast. They're like, yes, we know. We don't expect them to, but we're still going to push in this direction instead of that direction but that doesn't mean that we think everybody could hop on right away. We're still going to push towards the right direction, even if it's slow. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> when um, you're like, no, let's not go backwards. Katie's like, at least dinosaurs are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Katie. I don't think they're going to come back if we keep moving backwards. Oh, <laughs> That's man. not how it works. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help.
We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.